Hello, guys. Um, it's Nabil here. Hello, guys. I got a 2005 Toyota Matrix, and the cruise control is not working. As you can see, if if we press this, nothing happens on the dash. There should be a green light uh, comes on, but it's not coming on, so it's not responding to any of the buttons here on the cruise control anyways um, I actually deassembled this but I wanted I put it back in just to show you um, the steps that I have taken to remove this so first thing um, okay so so after troubleshooting um, uh, after we looked at the fuses the cruise control s switch uh, was now working after we looked at the fuses we found out that all the fuses were good uh, none of them were blowing uh, there there are four main switches that you want to look at the dome gauge stop and ECU dash IG for the ignition and I've actually wrote down a list of them uh, are the uh, top four fuses to look at when you run into a cruise control issues on these models of Toyota Matrix uh, an 05 I think it applies to 03 through 07 I believe um, so this is the list and the location of each one I looked at all the fuses all the fuses were good so <clears throat> I checked the grounds also grounds were looking good and last suspected area is gonna be this switch so before I remove this I connected my um, scanner uh, I'm using a Maxxis Elite and uh, let me just go back here and show you how I got to the cruise control so um, from the main from the main uh, function and the diagnostics uh, what you want to do is you want to go to diagnostics oops sorry for the camera here um, and then control unit and then there should be a cruise control I just want to show you a couple of things here So when we did the trouble code, when we did the trouble code, um, no errors were found. See, no false codes detected. And when we do the live data to further troubleshoot this and uh, how it responds to how it responds to the switches, that's when it starts getting interesting. Okay, so if we press the button on the on the cruise control, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera back on the scanner. I'm actually pressing that button on the cruise control, nothing's happening. But when I do go ahead and cancel it, and what I mean by canceling it is just moving it up and down, it does respond. So that's down. Actually, I need to move. Uh... So that's down. You see the set coast switch below the last one? Uh... Actually, it's the one at the bottom before the last one. That's down. It starts switching on. You see? And when I move it up to cancel, actually no, that's the acceleration. Acceleration works, and then towards me cancel. The one on the top. So these switches are responding. The on switch on office which is now working and normally that would be 
the cruise control indicator and I believe the cruise control switch ready main are the ones that are gonna turn on if this was working so I went ahead and removed first thing we need to remove is the airbag the airbag is being held by two screws one is right there and one is right here on the left side they use <clears throat> Torx 30 T30 right there I removed the two screws that's what they look like and then I removed the airbag this airbag just pulls out kind of set it aside and the switch control the cruise control is being held by two screws as you guys can see one one is right there and then one is right there these two screws right there and let me show you the two Phillips screws that are removed and they are right here that's what they look like removed it and then unplug this harness it's got a little clip little tip from the bottom here that you can remove and then I believe this is the ground and you just push this down and then there you go so I went even further than that uh, I was interested to know why this stopped working before I actually just go ahead and replace this so what I did there was a screw right here that I had to remove and the screw that looks like it's a small screw and that's what it looks like right there put it on my magnetic here and um, and and this once you remove that screw this pops out just be careful because it's the wires and there you go so when I remove this I found out that this right here was broken see how this one is shorter than the other ones that's the problem right there and if we flip this plastic piece here see where these connections are when they're touching was when they're touching the cruise control turns on and when they touch again when we press this again the cruise control turns off so <clears throat> this is broken that little tip on the bottom on the on the first one from the left is broken <clears throat> so it, it, you can either fix it by you know trying to come up with another piece of metal maybe solder it and see if you can get it working that way but in my case it was just easy to just replace the switch I got it for five dollars from a U-Pull junkyard I removed it myself and I got I got it right here this is the new one that I got same thing but I just wanted to show you guys I mean feel free to try to fix that um, I'm just not gonna spend the time on it today because um, this was only five bucks I just gotta warn you these things are damn expensive they are very expensive if you want to buy them from um, an auto parts and we're we're in February of 2019 right now and this thing cost um, $117 from my local parts auto parts store um, in a few years it might you know this car might be older and it might go down uh, the price might go down and it might be cheaper but right now this thing is hundred seventeen dollars but I got it from a junkyard for uh, five bucks <clears throat> again um, this is fixable guys um, I, I've got all the kit that can fix it I just uh, <clears throat> I was in the junkyard and I happened to come across uh, Pontiac Vipe 
which is similar to the uh, very similar to the Toyota Matrix um, and I removed that I removed this from that car so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in and uh, show you on the scanner what lights that I should be what lights so the, the way to put this back in is you just slide it in put the two screws in <clears throat> Let's see if I can put these two screws in real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a Phillips. So that's the first screw. I'm gonna see if I can get the other one while I'm holding the camera here. Um, okay, let's see if I can get that. Nice, we got it in. So the cruise control is in. I could have tried this before I actually put the screws in, but I know it works, so. Um, screws are in tight. Don't go too tight on these things, you could break them. Um, first thing is first, the ground. They're very critical on these situations. And the harness. Now, if we press the button. Voila. Cruise control is working again. Now let me show you on the scanner. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and press it right now. See how a couple of switches, couple of things went on? The cruise control switch indicator and the cruise control switch ready main. And let me see what else. Yeah, just these two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click it again and see if they go off yep they went off again so that's it folks um all you have to do right now is just replace the not replace sorry but i mean put back your airbag airbag uh, and you should be all set uh, our cruise control is working and we're happy and make sure that you like subscribe our channel uh, we do appreciate your support and uh, make sure you stay connected with us so you get updated on the future videos thanks a lot and have a great day folks see you next time with another video so guys one of the things that I wanted to show also beside the scanner how you know this is bad I used croc cables here and I touch these cables together and once I do that the cruise control light comes on as well so that tells me that these pieces that I showed you um, this metal piece here definitely confirms right there definitely confirms that they're not touching okay so just a simple cable here, you know, croc cable I used. And uh, when I touch them together, the cruise control light comes on. All right, thanks.